says that there was a certain man who was lame from his mother's womb. God help me preach. And this lame man, Sister Veronica, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask of alms of them that entered in to the temple. Now the problem I have with this, I pray for you later. Here is a man who the name of his condition carries more weight than his actual name. Yeah. 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 And when the name of your sickness, when the name of your disease, when the name of your circumstance or situation carries more weight than your name, yeah. Yeah. something is wrong with you. Yeah. When folk can only identify you by what you're going through, yeah. Yeah. something is wrong with you. When folk don't call you by your name, but instead call you according to your condition, it has more authority, more influence, and is more reputable than your God-given name. And some of you name yourself, I'm sick. I'm tired. I'm broke. Replacing the name that God has given you. yourself. There are so many of you who rename yourself according to the likes and reputation of ungodly folk. And what you need to realize is that when you take on their names, when you worship their names, when you attach their names to your name, you are actually attaching their spirits, their character, and their curses to your destiny. So don't be surprised of the trouble you find yourself going through because of whose name you've taken on. You add to your name a name that means trouble. You add to your name a name that means drunk, dropout, thug, Pimp, hook, alpha, broke, busted, disgusted, lazy, and hellbound. You've added these names. You're not satisfied with your name. And so you either change it so that you will be more acceptable to the world, or you add to it names that bring glory to everything relating to the world and its ways. And the name that truly matters, Jesus, is nowhere to be found in you, on you, or around you. Yeah. Preach good already. My circumstance does not define who I am. The church in which I serve does not define who I am. My sorority or fraternity does not define who I am. What I am going through does not define who I am. This man's name was lame. And it had more influence than the name given him by his own parents. The Bible says that he was Sister Dion Carey to church. Yeah. <laughs> he was carried to church, but he was never carried in the church. And this is another problem that I have with the text, in that so many of us do the same thing, and that we give the wrong perception of the purpose of the church. Give me a few minutes to argue my point. Let me explain. Some of you will only come to the gates to see what you can get. But you'll never enter the courts 
to see what you can hear. Amen. Oh, God help me. Some of you won't come in because you desire specific ministries that cater to your selfish desire. And so the name of the ministry is more of a draw than the name of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you will invite folk to hear the preacher preach. <laughs> or to hear the choir sing. But you will never actually invite them to Jesus. You leave that responsibility totally on the preacher to bring them in. Uh, you'll invite them to church, but you never follow up to make sure they go in the church. Yeah. And another argument that I want to present to you on today is that some will only come to the gates to see what they can get. Yeah. Because the church is viewed as vulnerable and naive. This is why there are so many folk who will only come to promote their products and services. They come to the church but they never join in with the church. Or like this lame man, they only come to beg and withdraw, but they never come to give and add to the church. I wonder, I wonder, uh, uh, Mr. Shelley, about the people who would actually bring him to the church daily. I wonder why he would just sit at the gate and beg those going in for money. And I've come to the conclusion that churches are sometimes guilty of handicapping people and giving them uh, the false perception that they can depend more on the church name than who the church represents. We're building bowling alleys, cafes, gyms and recreational centers within the church because we put more trust in those names than in the one name that can really help that situation. Am I preaching to anybody in here? I get so tired of the church being criticized about what we should be doing for the community. And most of the time it comes from folk who don't even belong to a church. You like to sit on the sideline and dictate what the church should be giving out when you don't even give as an individual. Yeah. And when we do give out, that's the only time you show up. Yeah. Wow. You are what's called a taker, yeah. a, a user, and a consumer. Amen. Because you come to the gates to see what you can get monetarily. And you reject that which you need spiritually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you remain in the same shape because you're begging and expecting provision from the wrong source. Yeah. 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 John and Peter, realizing this, Sister Al, desired more for the man than he desired for himself. Yeah. Because the name that was given him foretold his destiny. The Bible says he was the lame man. Yeah. Yeah. He was lame from his mother's womb. But he was handicapped by the people who continued to carry him. Yeah. And the ones who continued giving handouts. I'm about to take off. Because there are some folk in your life that you've been carrying too long. <laughs> And so now your name is made greater than the name of Jesus because you're the only one they call when they're in trouble and when they want something. And as long as you keep carrying them, they will never turn to Jesus. The Bible says that as they were going into the temple, the lame man asked them for a handout. And Peter and John fastened, the Bible says, their eyes upon the man and told him, look on us. Because you ought to be able to see an example of what you want to be. Yeah. Amen. 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 Ask your neighbor, who you hanging around that you want to be like? 